Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so I am back today with a new video. I actually posted this on Instagram that I was going to do a video today. Um, unfortunately, it's not like any other video I've made before. It's going to be a negative one. And I don't really like being negative, but I had to do it. I just had to post a video today about this uh, company to make you all aware of them and their um, their way of dealing with customers. So, yep. Um, so, I have been dealing with this company for the past two months. And it just has been the worst. The absolute worst. It's just been a nightmare and it's still can like it's still going on it hasn't ended so I'm going to tell you what happened please be aware of this house and the house I'm talking about is it's a niche perfume house unfortunately by the name of uh, Technique Indiscre Indiscreet they are based in France and the perfumer is from Belgium I believe Anyway, this is the story. I was on Facebook. This was on August the 1st. The, I was on Facebook and I was just, you know, looking at all the posts and that. And then this, you know how they pop up the ads and stuff or the, would they tell you when your friends have commented on someone's post or something. So that kind of thing happened. It popped up and I saw that it was about this company. So I go into their page and I just look at look up all the bottles and things like that and I start reading some information about the um, ingredients and the, you know just the different perfumes they have to offer and so I thought you know what I'm just going to place an order because I'm interested you know I've never heard of this brand before and it just to me it sounded interesting so I thought why not and they had a sale at the time so what I did was I went on their website and I purchased these bottles, um, two, four, six, eight. The ones that are here are eight, but I actually purchased more. But I'll get to that. So I placed this large order and I wanted two more bottles, but they were out of stock. So what I did then was I go back onto Facebook and I messaged the perfumer which I'll put his name up on the screen now. Uh, I messaged him and I said, oh, hi, you know, I've just purchased, I've just made a large order, uh, online order, and I can't wait. I'm excited to try them and this and that. And uh, I wanted these other ones. I think there were three other ones that I wanted, but two in particular. I said, will they be back in stock? And then he said, oh, yeah, yeah, they will. And he said, oh, tomorrow I'll, I'll put them back up. So I said, okay, that's fine. I'll just wait until tomorrow and I'll purchase them as well. So tomorrow comes and the bottles were still out of stock. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just give it some time. And, you know, third day comes and still no perfume. So I messaged him again and I said, oh, you know, do you, do you have them in stock? Because I was worried that they're going to send the order, my first order, because I wanted to put them all together. And um, he said, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, he just gave me some crap about how he's making it or something. I don't know. It just wasn't ready. And I said, okay, well, I'll wait then. I think it was like two weeks went by. And then I was like, um, is it on? Is it back on? What's going on? And then he's like, oh, oh, okay, I'll put it back on. So long story short, I waited two weeks and then it went back on in stock online so I purchased two bottles because the third one still was out of stock so I purchased the two bottles and then he's and then I said oh can you put them in the same order one because I want to receive the entire package you know I don't want to receive them um, separately and two is because I don't want to pay postage again like what's you know it's like 25 Australian dollars each time and I, I thought no I'll just put them together it's just two extra bottles Anyway, and then he and he says, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine, we can do that. 
So he agreed. And then once I did purchase them, he said, oh, I have to pay, pay postage again. And then I was like, okay. And he goes, oh, because the weight and this and that, and I'm going to include samples for you and blah, 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 blah. And then I thought, oh, okay, you know what, whatever. I'm just going to pay postage a second time, which I did. Didn't complain, nothing. And I'm just like, okay, well, that's good. And he's like, okay, I'm going to go and ship them off, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to pack them up for you tomorrow. I'm going to ship them off. And I said, okay, thanks a lot, whatever. Tomorrow came, nothing. Waited a few days, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then, like, time was passing by and I was like, What's going on with my order? Like I messaged him again and I said, oh, did you like send my stuff yet? And he said, oh yeah, yeah, we already sent it. And I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. Um, can I please get the tracking number? Because A, I was going on a holiday, a very short holiday, and I didn't want it to get lost in the mail. I wanted to be home before I left. And I told him this. And number two is because I want to track it, you know? If you send the bloody perfume, you have to send me an email that you've shipped it. Isn't that just normal behavior? Yeah. Anyway, and he kept putting it off for like two weeks. And then I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? So from August, like a month had already passed, mind you. And he's just lying and promising me, yeah, yeah, I've sent it. I'll give you the tracking. I'll email this person and she'll give it to you. And I did everything. I emailed. I Kept on insisting, I want my tracking number. At the end, I, I just had enough after the month and I said, listen, I emailed them and I said, I want my money back. Just give me a refund. I don't want your perfumes anymore. I can't sit around and wait for the, this order to, to come. I need to go on a holiday. So I'm not waiting for this order. It's been a month. I said, just cancel it through PayPal and give me the refund. And then that same second, they email me back and they're like, oh, we can't cancel it because we've just sent it. And then they gave me the tracking number. So I checked the tracking information and it said that it was just like the, uh, it was just created like through their system. And I was like, what the hell? So he's been lying to me all this month telling me that it was sent when in fact it wasn't, you know? Anyway, that, that was not even the issue here. Anyway, and I was just patient about it and I just didn't say anything. And I said, okay, whatever. So I'll just wait. So I waited for them to come and finally the parcel arrived and I opened the box and I can smell a lot of perfume. I knew something was leaking in there and it turned out that this one had leaked. It leaked that much it was like leaking and it continues to leak like if I spray it now it'll just keep on leaking so I can't even use it um, but I know that's probably no one's fault it's just in transit and you know what it happens but then I you know I look through the bottles and that and then I realized that there were three bottles missing from the order and then I said, and they're, they're the bottles, the two the bottles were the ones I paid extra postage for, mind you. So I thought, okay, what's going on here? So I looked properly, I emptied the box and there were three perfume bottles missing. So I uh, messaged him and I said, oh, I just received my parcel, but there were three bottles missing and this one was leaking, like in transit. And then... <laughs> Like, if you were a perfumer and someone told you that, wouldn't you be like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, um, you know, things happen, I'm so sorry, I'll send it ASAP, you know, I'll, I'll send them ASAP or I'll... something, you know? What he said was, and I'll put it on the screen, it's something like, oh, um, oh, wow, like, oh, he was oblivious. And that, oh, could it be possible that, you know, the box, someone, like, opened the box and took it? And I was like, no. <laughs> the box was not tampered with. It was sealed. Like, you can tell if someone's opened the box. I said, no. The box was sealed. No one had touched it. You didn't send me my three bottles. And then he was like, 
oh, didn't you get my samples? And I said, no. And this is what, what made me laugh is because he actually sent me a card saying, oh, I didn't send this any samples. I'll send it next time. So, and he's like, oh, didn't you get my samples? And I said, no, you sent me a card saying that you didn't send them. Like, who, you're playing dumb with who? Like, I'm not stupid, you know? Anyway, and he's just like playing oblivious and all. And then he's just like, oh, um, oh, and then just went quiet. And I'm like, so what's going to happen? And then he's like, oh, yeah, um, I'm going to, um, I think it was, oh, what's it called? Uh, that fragrance thingy. Oh, I'll put it on screen. <laughs> Can't remember what it's called now. Yeah, I'll make sure before I go there, I will pack the box myself and I'll send you the uh, missing fragrances. And, and I said, okay, what about the this bottle here? It's leaking. And then he said, oh, I'll replace that as well. So I, I said, okay, thanks. So, um, and that was the end of it. I never heard back from him. He went to wherever he needed to go. He even came back from there and still nothing. So I was actually forced to open a PayPal case against him. And this is when it got nasty. This is when it really got nasty. Because I started uh, talking to a few people that um, about, about this issue. And it turns out that this person has done this to a few people that I know. And every time they wanted to speak up about it, he would um, harass them or he would hush them or just make them shut up, basically. And I was like, what? So that's why you don't know. You just don't know. If you go on his Facebook page and you read the reviews, there are only positive reviews, okay? He will not allow you to put a negative review. It's like he's blocked the negative reviews because I tried and it just wouldn't happen. So he's very shifty. He's a very shifty, dodgy person. And then, um, yeah, so I find out that I'm not the only victim here. He's, he's done this to several people and I was shocked. I was just shocked. I was like, and one of my fragrance friends, um, she was like, oh, I just gave up at the end. He just literally stole her money. Like he didn't send her the fragrance and he just didn't care. And um, she just gave up, she, you know, she just stopped asking about it. And he, yeah, anyway, and continuation with the PayPal issue, I filed a case against him saying that I had received my, my parcel, but there were three fragrances missing and one was leaking. And then, you know what he does? Instead of fixing things and making things better, you know what he does? He sends PayPal tracking information as to say oh it's been delivered and that's it like i'm like not even telling the truth or you know like oh i've done my part i've sent her the parcel it's been delivered and that's it like excuse me <laughs> like are you kidding or who does that are you serious i was like in a shock like why i paid for these bottles, I didn't get anything for free. I paid with my own money. You didn't send them for free. Like, give me my bloody perfume or just give me a refund. What the hell? I was so, I was so angry. And then I actually changed the claim into missing items. And I explained to PayPal, like, um, what had happened. Yes, I received the parcel. I'm not denying that. But it was missing three bottles. But he knows what he's doing. He knows that PayPal look at the d tracking information and they just see that if, if it's been delivered, then it's been delivered, you know? So he knows. He's not stupid. Um, anyway, and I explained to PayPal that there was missing bottles and that, and we're, I'm still trying to deal with all of that. It The case hasn't closed yet. Um, he hasn't replied to that, to the missing items, um, and it's been over a week now, so... I'm dealing with that crap. This guy, I don't even know how he thinks he's going to make it to the top. Like, he's opening a new boutique in France. Like, yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that because you're not going, to, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to get anywhere if you're dealing with people like this. You know, I hope he's watching this and I hope he learns from, these, from this crap that he's been doing to people. Like, 
Seriously, like who does that? I would, I, I, my dream is to become a perfumer. Like he's already there. He's made these fragrances. Like he's already there. You know, why do you want to um, ruin your reputation like that? Like it doesn't make sense to me. And it's just not, it's not just me. It's a few others as well. So he has this thing where he, he does this. Like it feels like it's intentional. I don't get it. What? You need money? You need, what do you want? Like, I don't, I really, if you think you understand this situation, please comment down below and tell me because I really don't get it. I really don't understand it. Like, why? Oh, anyway, that was my story. So I definitely do not recommend dealing with this person do not buy anything from them and in fact i wanted to say i have my doubts now about these fragrances because this one smells like alcohol like it's supposed to be like a vanilla fragrance and it smells like rubbing alcohol guys it stinks it just smells like spirits or something yep just alcohol. I can't even smell anything else. Just alcohol. So I don't even know if these are legit or genuine. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I mean, if he's the type of person that would do that to people, then I definitely do not trust what is in these bottles. And you know what? I have not even tried any of these. I just put them on the side and I said, stuff that. I don't even want to smell his fragrances. That's just a disgusting act. And that's just so low. I'm sorry. That's just so low. I'm, I, I can't stand people like that. Like, you know, fair trade. Like, what happened to fair trade? And you know what? I do believe in karma. And I, I know that he will not succeed doing the things that he has been doing like this. He will not succeed. I'm speaking out. I'm pretty sure others will come out and speak as well after this. And... Honestly, this is like a warning um, to all my perfume friends and perfume lovers. I know how much we, you know, we, we love our fragrances and we love great dealings and we buy a lot of fragrances. Like I purchase a lot online. You know how much I purchase. And uh, this has been the worst nightmare like for me and it's still ongoing. So please do not, do not think of dealing with this person do not think of, I don't know. I mean, as I said, this smells like alcohol. I, I don't even know if it's legit or genuine. I don't know. But, you know, because he's done that, I just don't trust anything from him anymore. I don't trust him as a person. I don't trust him as a perfume. I don't trust him. That's it. He's lost my trust. And, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh... I didn't want to come back after like a month and do a video like this. I do apologize, but you know, I needed to tell you, I know that like no one knows about him, like not many people know about him, you know, only the per people that have dealt with him know um, that he does lie and he does uh, do things like that. But this is just beyond being like dishonest. This is just stealing. Like, he's stealing people's money. Like, come on. Like, now my three bottles have just gone. And I've paid extra postage. That's, that's just all gone. You know? And why? I don't know. I really don't know. Like, he doesn't have to... Like, he doesn't need to be like that. Come on. Anyway, um... So, I thought I'd warn you. And, um... Yeah, I... I hope he changes. I don't know. I'm not sure about that but um anyway guys i will uh, leave it at that for now and yeah until next time i hope you are all smelling wonderful uh today i'm actually wearing a new fragrance that i've purchased you know what i wanted to do a haul video and include these fragrances in there because these are new and i just i just didn't do it um it's just turned me off so much and I've just been trying to deal with this situation and I can't stand people who lie to be honest I get like anxiety attacks and that I don't like it at all I'm a very honest person and I don't like liars and 
dodgy people. Anyway, um, yeah, so today I'm wearing uh, Creed Spice and Wood, which is a new purchase of mine as well. It's so beautiful. So, yeah. Um, until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Have a great rest of the week. Bye.